Okay, welcome to my February 2022 Paper Pumpkin Alternative video. This is Kate with Kate's Paper Creations, and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Washington State. And I have a few Paper Pumpkin subscribers. I would love to see more of you join me. Today I will show you one card. I typically try to make at least five alternative cards and if you want to see the rest, become a paper, sub, paper Pumpkin subscriber with me and you will be on the list to receive the private videos of the other four cards. But for today, let's just look at the elements of the kit. I don't need to do a total unboxing. Um, if you have the kit already, you will see um, that. But I will go through some of the um, elements that I will be using to make today's card and those other four cards. Um, it comes with these various punch outs, um, some leaves, this one's probably not in the screen so I'll hold it up here like this, and some little green tags like this. There's these tags and these tags, there's these circles, there's these little um, sticky backed elements that kind of look a little bit like rocks. I think that's probably what they're supposed to be. There's enough to make nine cards here. So there's three of each of these envelopes with the lovely designs on the inside. And then they also put designs up on the outsides as well. Very pretty. And then the cards themselves, there are three of each of these. The colors in this set are Bumblebee, Fresh Freesia, um, this is soft succulent. Then other coordinating colors are pear pizzazz, rich razzleberry, and soft suede. So you have quite a variety there. And of course they're plain on the inside. Then there's also vellum for each of the cards. There's three of each of these shapes of vellum to make the cards as they come in the kit. And then there's these punch outs. There's this one that's a giraffe like this. There's one that's a monkey. Let me get him up here so you can see him a little bit better, like that. And then the elephant, which is my favorite, to be honest. He's just too cute. And the elephant roller, running by on roller skates. <laughs> it comes with a rich Razzleberry Stampin' Spot. And of course, the obligatory um, glue dots and dimensionals as well. Now, then the stamp set, the final coupe de gras, whatever they say. It has a leaf and a cupcake and some um, dots here that could be sprinkles. And then it has a little banner that says, yay, let's celebrate, you did it, amazing. You are so um, fantastic and happy birthday. So those are the stamps that come with the set as well. Okay. That is all I'm going to show you for now. I will say that you won't see any of my alternatives using these pieces. I just am not fond of them. Um, and of course, each person has their own likes and dislikes about every kit. And so these two especially just don't do a lot for me. So I probably won't use them. I may use the elephant because he is awfully cute. But we'll see. You will have to just check out the video I'm making today and then consider whether or not you want to subscribe with me and get my private videos as well. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the card that everyone gets to see. Before I do, I wanna be sure and let you know that this is the kit that's gonna be coming out in March, Beyond the Horizon. This gives you a little bit of a hint as to what you might expect. There's some beautiful watercolor background here that so I'm excited to see what that's going to be. You have until March 10th to sign up for this kit and I hope that you will subscribe so that you can be a part of my Paper Pumpkin Club, so to speak, and get in on those exclusive videos for alternative projects. So. This is the one I share with everyone, and this is the alternative I'm going to make. Now, if all you want to do is get a kit and make the cards, that is perfectly fine. 
and you can make them exactly as they come in the kit and use them however you want. When I make alternatives, I try to stay with the kit as much as I can, but it's, you know, there's just some basics that you're going to need. Um, typically, I'm going to bring in basic white thick cardstock to make new card bases with and build on. And then sometimes I'm going to bring in things from my um, stamping room that I have, typically always stamping up products. So for this particular card, I think it turned out kind of cute. I remember earlier I said I didn't really care for the animals, but I kind of liked this giraffe peeking out from behind. So here's what I did. I took apart one of the envelopes, which was this particular one. And to do that, you just take a an X-Acto knife and you can just slide it down the side here and open it up. And so I just slide it down the seam. Typically they're, they're large enough that you can, um, see, just like that. And then that will give you um, quite a bit to work with. And so I'll go ahead and do this so you can kind of see it. My exacto knife needs to be changed. It's getting dull. And you open it up. And then you've got quite a bit of space to work with here. There's also this lovely design down the side, which I may do something with at some point. That might be in one of the exclusive videos that my subscribers get. But what I did is I used the layering circles dies and I used the largest plain circle, which is two and seven eighths to cut out eh, 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 come here, this circle out of this envelope that I opened up. And this is the pear pizzazz. Then the leaves and things are part of what's in the kit. So that's what these are. And then here's the giraffe. And I am going to cut his head off. I'm sorry. I love you, giraffe. I'm going to cut your head off anyway. Okay. And I don't think I'm going to keep that, but you never know. So I put that. There's that. Then I'm going to use these two pieces from the kit. So this is from the kit, 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 kit. This is from the kit, but it's cut with the non-kit circle die. And then I'm going to use those two pieces. And then I used the basic white thick five and a half by four and a quarter I'm five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter and I am using the checks and dots embossing folders and these are these narrower narrower ones <laughs> and um, I just thought the checks would be really cute and I went ahead and just did it narrow like this and I am going to start by attaching this piece now this piece I cut from one of the cards. The cards, there's three different colors I showed you earlier. And so I just cut off a piece and I it's wider than I need, but I wanted to make sure that this is not necessarily an exact measurement. And so I just, rather than try to figure it out and get the measurement exactly right, I'm just gonna put the pieces right here down the edge and then I'm going to butt the edge of this right up to the edge of my embossing, just like that, and press it into place. And then I'm just going to take my scissors and cut off that extra and save it for another card or another time. If I can cut straight. <laughs> there we go. So there's the, there's the card front there, looking cute. Now I took this and I just started using the glue dots. They come in your kit, again, don't have to go outside of your kit for that. Um, I peel off the paper, get it to let go of me, static cling. And um, I'm going to put it on the, I need to let my fingernails grow. I'm gonna put it right here on the giraffe on his neck and then peel the top coating off and stick it behind. 
so that it looks like he's kind of poking his head out. And then I used this large leaf. This is the um, pear pizzazz leaf as well. And you could do it a couple ways. You can kind of overlap it just a little bit with him like that, but you don't want to cover up too much of his face. And again, I'm just going to use a glue dot and I'm going to put it right here on the bottom of the leaf. Peel away the extra, the topping, whatever you want to call it. And let's put this just like so. So it looks a little bit like my deer is peeking out. And I'm going to put this one on top, but I don't want that stem on there. I don't, didn't think that looked right. So I'm going to trim that stem off. And again, doesn't need a lot. I'm just going to put a single glue dot right there. Like that. And I'm going to put that one so it kind of comes down and a little bit like that. And then this one. I'm going to put a glue dot on and that stem is really thin so that glue dot isn't totally covered but that's okay because I'm going to kind of stick it up underneath and then that'll help hold it in place. And I didn't want it fastened down tight. So there's the basic piece and this is all going to go on to the card front just using um, regular stamp and seal adhesive. If you're trying to stay within the kit and you don't have the adhesive, these glue dots will work perfect. You just put them behind. As a matter of fact, I'm going to use a few of them anyway because it's really hard to get tape on these little pieces here. And because of the texture, I want this to be stuck well so it doesn't fall off the card when I send it. I'm making these for my grandsons. Um, one is in fifth grade and one is in sixth grade, his first year in junior high. And they both brought home their report cards and um, both got very high marks, nothing below a B. So, um, and mostly A's. And so I was so proud of them. And so I want to send them a card. And so this is what they will get. So now I'm going to kind of just put this in here. And I want it, the deer to be at an angle. And of course I need to keep this on the card. So that's really what's dictating where I put this. And we're going to just stick it down like that. Now in the kit you get a rich razzleberry ink pad, a little mini pad. But I'm going to just use my big one. And here's the first part of the sentiment. You are so. And I'm stamping that on this little green tag that was in the kit. If I can get it a hold. There it is. And amazing. And I'm going to put the amazing kind of down low on this, this tag piece that was also in the kit so that I can put that other piece above it. Let's get that on there like that. And then this, I just put some adhesive on the back and I'm going to have it line up with the top, but stick out just a little bit like that so that you get a little bit of a variation there. And then this I'm going to attach with dimensionals and they're hiding from me. They're there. And I'm just going to attach that with dimensionals. If you um, have a trouble peeling these things up, if you stick your thumb right in the middle and press down, it pulls the edges up, makes them a little bit easier. There's a little tip if you haven't heard it before. And then we'll put this on here wherever we think it looks good. It could be up higher than it is on that other card. I think I will do it just like that. And there is the card. First alternative for the February 2022 Paper Pumpkin Kit. So, again, don't forget, 
to like my my videos to subscribe if you haven't yet to subscribe to paper pumpkin i'll put the link below in the description or the um comment section or whatever below so that you can um, link to my site and subscribe and then starting in March we can share those exclusive videos for the paper pumpkin alternatives. Now I appreciate you watching and thanks for stopping by.